Hey guys, it's Kayla, and today is a video that I've been talking about doing for a really long time, um, probably since I started this channel, actually, and that is my hair story video, because as you can tell, this is not my natural hair color, and this is definitely not the only hair color you've seen me with. Um, so yeah, I kind of just wanted to go through my hair story, gonna have some pictures thrown in there, I'm also gonna talk about some of my favorite hair products, um, yeah, and just lots of things. So I thought I would start with, um, talking about length, because, like, that's something that's been pretty constant. I usually keep my hair pretty damn long, usually longer than this. Um, this I cut really short back in January. I cut it fairly short, so it was short for me. It was still pr pretty long for most people, but, um, I cut it pretty short, and so I've been letting it grow back out, because I want it to be really long again. It's almost back to the length where I like to have it, um... And I usually just keep it really layered up because I have lots of curls and if it's all one length, it just does not look good. So I just like to keep it pretty layered up. I think this is my shortest layer right now. I think. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but that's my shortest layer right now, I think. And yeah. Um, and yeah, growing up, my mom usually kept my hair pretty long unless I would ask. Like when I was in like third grade, I asked her to cut short and I hated it. Like I had a meltdown. Um... And, like, it was the worst thing ever. And then, again, in, I want to say sixth grade. Because fifth grade, my hair was really long. So, sixth grade, I think, is when I chopped it down to, like, here. It was disgusting. Um, it was really gross. Um, but, yeah, it grew back, obviously. And so, I kept it in my shoulders for a while just because I liked it. Um, but then I started growing it back out long again. And I love my long hair. It's so much fun. And I can just. It makes my curls look better. Um, obviously, I like shorten it up every once in a while just to make the curls look healthier. But because um, I have naturally curly hair, having it long looks a lot better for me, I think. Um, yeah, so that is my length stuff. And like I just said, I have naturally curly hair. It's also naturally like a dark, dirty blonde. I was born with super dark hair, but it got really blonde um, like pretty soon after, like when I was, you know, a baby. And um, then kind of just got darker blonde as I grew up. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll go through hair dye stuff now and other, <laughs> one other chemical treatment I've done to my hair. So yeah, I was naturally dirty blonde and around like age eight or nine, I somehow convinced my mom I needed to perm my hair, even though I have naturally curly hair. I don't, like, I don't know why either of us thought that was a good idea, but anyway, permed my hair, didn't really do anything because I have curly hair, but whatever. <laughs> and when I was 11, I, um, first dyed my hair, um, and I got blonde highlights just I wanted my hair to be lighter. Um, excuse me. It was so it was like end of fifth grade. I wanted my hair lighter again, so I dyed it. I uh, got some highlights, and then summer before seventh grade, I was kind of an emotional wreck in sixth grade. Like I was. Anyway, we we can have a talk through my life later and talk about my sixth grade year. That was a fun year, um, but I was very just like I just am, need a change. I need to be different. I'm going to school away from all my friends, and so I dyed my hair brown. Um, I didn't go very dark at first. I went to, I mean, it was dark, I mean, dark for me because I had been so used to being blonde. But, so I dyed it dark for the summer to see if I liked the brown. And then when I went back to school, um, I decided I wanted to go really dark. And so I dyed my hair, like, a chocolate brown and, like, threw in some auburn highlights because I wanted to be different. It was my tiger hair, um, as some of my friends referred to it as. So that was um, when I was thir about 13, like right before my 13th birthday. Um, yeah. And so then I kept that hair um, with that like chocolate brown and um, sometimes the lighter browns in there too until um, the summer before my um, ninth grade year. Yeah, summer before my ninth grade year. Um, when my mom had been nagging me to go back to blonde, she hated my dark hair. Like, she really wanted me to be a blonde again. Um, she, she just did not like my dark hair. And we were... It's really weird how I actually, like, decided this. We were on our way to a Jonas Brothers concert. Yeah. And my mom had been nagging me for weeks, and I, like, I didn't say anything. Like, I didn't, like, say anything about it. And then, um... There was something I really wanted, and I don't remember what it was. Like, there was something I really wanted, and I was trying to get my mom to get it for me. And she was like, if you go blonde again, I'll get it for you. And I was like, okay. And then, like, half an hour later, I go, tricks on you. I was just about to ask you if I could go blonde again. And I still got the thing. I don't even remember what it was now. But I went blonde again. Um, 
that's the moral of that story. August of that year, I was blonde. Um, I just got some highlights in, so my hair still had that brown in there and the auburn, so it was still kind of a ready blonde. Um, and then by the time I was 16, I was basically back to, like, my full blonde, like, highlights like all through um it yeah because I kept progressively dyeing my hair blonde like every four months I would get it dyed um yeah and so I got back there and then by the time I was 18 my hair was basically entirely bleach um I still like did highlights but at that point like we had highlighted it so much that my hair was just like entirely I mean you guys have seen my blonde 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 hair like it was bleach um and then I got to college and I just was sitting in my room one day and I was like I am so sick of being blonde like I have been blonde a majority of my life I miss my dark hair I want to do something completely different and so I decided I wanted to go um like an auburny color um didn't want to go like super dark red but I wanted to go an auburny color so I was like I'm gonna do it myself I had dyed my hair but I had box dyed my hair one other time before, and it was just when I was dark, and it was just an all-over color, so I didn't feel so bad. And other than that, only my hairdresser, Danny, had ever dyed my hair. And I decided on my own, no one helping me, I was going to dye my hair. Um, which turned out fine. I mean, I had my friend Kate have to get some of the spots in the back that I missed the first time I did it. But So I went to that light, um, ready, brown color that... I think you guys have seen that color. I don't know if that was during my hiatus from filming or not um but yeah so there was that and then um I talked to my hairdresser I was like hey I don't think this is dark enough I want to do something a little bit darker and I kind of showed her some pictures she's like you know what I let's just try something because she had gotten like a whole new hair dye system like whole new like dyes and stuff and she's like oh, let's I'm just gonna create a color for you I was like, okay and she dyed it and my beautiful dark red is what happened and I freaking loved that color you guys like I was not expecting to go that dark but the second she blow dried my hair and I saw it in the mirror I was like this is so beautiful and like you if you guys follow me on Instagram you know like I was obsessed with selfies for a good long time when my hair was that dark and I loved it and it faded out to a really nice color and so I only dyed it that red again once <clears throat> sorry I went to a concert last night and my voice is like really bad um <laughs> And so I dyed it that color um, again once, and then I started letting it fade out and just to the red it turned into. And it was a really nice, it was kind of the color I originally wanted to go to was what it faded to, which was really cool. Um, and then it was, when was it? It was July, August, early August, late July. I don't remember. When did I dye my hair, you guys? Um, and I decided it was time to go back toward the blonde side. And so I got some highlights put in, but not any bleach, just like warm blonde highlights through the red. Because I wanted to keep the red, but I wanted it to be lighter. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find a picture so I can know the exact time. But all the pictures on my wall are still red, I think. Um, but yeah, so it was like end of summer. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to start going back to the blonde. And right now it's at this color that sometimes looks a lot more blonde like right now it looks more blonde but sometimes it also looks a lot more red um the only thing that I forgot to do was have um Danny run more red through my roots because right now you can see like my natural color and blonde and then it gets to my red and my blonde so I'm not going to dye it again until it's grown out a little bit more so it's more my natural color through because I am working my way back towards blonde um I will probably always go back to blonde I was really tempted to go to my uh, chocolate brown again the other day but I'm gonna keep going towards blonde for a while um yeah, so that is my, like, hair cut and color story of my life. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to show you guys five of my favorite hair products. They're all kind of different things. So I'm going to start with my favorite, um, like, straightening product. Because I don't know if I've, I've ever ranted about this to you guys. But straightening my hair is really freaking hard. Like, I have to blow dry it straight and then straighten it. Because these curls don't like to go away. Um, my favorite straightening product is... The Straight Sexy Hair Smooth and Protect. Um, they also have like a gel thing that I use to blow dry my hair. So like, I'll put that in my wet hair, blow dry it, and I'll spray on this and straighten it. And it makes my hair just amazingly perfect and straight. So I love that. 
Um, let's go to my favorite color protection um, uh, spray, and that is the L'Oreal um, Advanced Hair Care Color Vibrancy Dual Protect Spray. Um, I got this when I was using the um, color protect shampoo from, um, or color vibrancy shampoo from L'Oreal, which I still love. I just kind of, I switched over to a different shampoo for now. But I love this stuff. I always like my color looked more vibrant. Like, it was beautiful, wonderful. I don't use it that often, obviously, um, because I've had this forever. But I really, really like it. Um, let's go to just a plain old hairspray. And my favorite's going to be the Not Your Mother's She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. Um, I have big curls, and I like them to stay big, because sometimes they do flatten out throughout the day. So this stuff, my natural hair, pour a little bit of this on it pour spray a little bit of this on it and I call that good um dry shampoo this is empty this is yeah basically empty it's the um bedhead rockaholic dirty secret dry shampoo um yeah this I need to buy a new one um it's basically empty but I just can never bring myself because it's like 20 bucks it's very hard for me to buy it um they have like six dollar mini ones at target those I'm thinking that's what I'll go to next because I don't go through it like I've had this for I think two years now like this I don't go through very fast um, because my hair isn't super oily so it doesn't need dry shampoo all the time if I don't wash it so yeah that is that and I really love it and I need a new one badly um ooh this packaging will be back because it's October yes and it's for a good cause so I guess I can't buy the full size because it's October so I just need to remember to do that before October is over yes anyway and then my last the five is going to be a shine spray, and that is the Fakai uh, Brilliant Glossing um, shine, Sheer Shine Mist with Olive Oil. Um, I love this stuff. This is just the mini one. Um, my sister had the full one when we were younger, and I would use it all the time. And so I bought myself a mini one um, maybe six months ago, and I love it to death. I also have another shine spray I'm alternating through, though, so I don't use this one every time, especially because it's more expensive. Especially. I can't talk today, you guys. Um, this is more expensive, so I tried not to, but I got this on sale. Like, this little guy is usually $12.50. I got it for 5 bucks. So, I mean, gotta, gotta get those sales. So, yeah, that is kind of the gist of my hair story. Um, yeah, I could have probably done whole videos on each of these sections, um, but I don't have a lot of time to film. And I wanted to get this all in one video because it's all, like, super exciting stuff. And I've been saying I was going to do this for, you know, two years now. So yes, that is all about my hair, and if you guys have any questions about other products I use or about my hair dyeing experience, um, go ahead and ask them in the comments down below. I love talking about my hair. I really do. So that is all I can think of. So I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!